welcome back to episode number three of our Richard series. We got David here with us. David, thank you so much. Thank you for bringing the truck. I know we tried a couple of times to have this thing here. Yeah, Third, life's busy, man. Yeah, life's, life's busy. busy. Life's Third busy. time's the charm. The truck is here. This is the legendary <laughs> Cruiser Crow. This is the, uh, well, I guess we'll just start, jump right in. So it's a 97 FCJ 80. Okay. Land Cruiser. The last year of the 80 series. It's the last year. It's the last Mohican. Last, find. yeah. So now this particular one, what makes it unique? I mean, I, I know there's only a certain percentage made of these. Is uh, this came with factory lockers? It's lockers. It's got the lockers, but even better than that, it's. I think like, what they say, like less than seven yeah. percent came from the factory with lockers, and even less percentage came with a blower. So a blower, yeah. So we're jumping right in. So this particular truck comes with a throaty blower straight from Toyota, right? I mean, this, this is something- Yeah, that, it's the Kazuma Supercharger straight yeah. from the factory. Well, let, let, let's just <laughs> pop that hood. Hey, pop the hood. Pop the hood? Pop the hood. Two JZ engine, no shit. Wow, look at this thing. TRD, Toyota Racing Development, straight from Toyota, a factory blower. So how do you like this thing? How does this thing move with the blower? I mean, I, I, I'm sure you've driven the regular 80s. You're right, this is my second 80. Um, I sold my first one, regret it ever since. So I know what a dog these are. And if you start lifting them and putting bigger tires on them, uh, they're even more of a dog. Yeah. Uh, with this, it makes it tolerable. Yeah. It's, it's much better. It's actually responsive. It's still a slug. It's still a it's... slug. Yeah, so with, with superchargers, it's one of those things like you can't expect like, you know, neck snapping speed out of this thing. It's basically how you would expect a modern truck to drive now. Like when you buy an SUV, it's got, you know, decent power. This is basically what it drives with the uh, how it drives with the blower, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, this thing is nice, man. So this, uh, I believe this this particular truck came ready installed. This isn't like an aftermarket. This isn't something that was added on no, by, by is, you. This is something that came on it. This is actually Pat's old truck before you owned it. Yeah. We worked on it, but it's kind of still staying within the, I guess, within the shop. So. No, know, it's we're, definitely we're, staying in the shop, and he built a very good base for me to like build off of. I mean, this thing's a, what is it? A quarter century old now. Yeah. And so, yeah, we've just been doing little stuff here and there. All right, well, as far as the mods, I mean, you can clearly tell this thing is built for war. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's fully armored all around. It's got all the top tier mods. So starting from the front bumper, this is the hard to get Binks Fab uh, front bumper. This is yep. the highly desirable 80 series bumper. I'm not even sure if you can buy these anymore. I mean, I know he has like whiffs of inspiration. I know where... he is currently probably still taking orders, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure how fast they're coming out. There's a bunch of choices out there, but this is like one of the most complimenting bumpers. Oh yeah. Awesome approach angle. Yeah. What's nice is just it's up and it's high and tight. You know, it's not bulging out. It's right. not too heavy. I believe this week we chop, added. You guys chopped the hoop. Yeah. So this is this was done. I want to say maybe three or four years ago. So right. we uh, we added this bar. We added. Uh, the winch plate, and we added these lights. Right. So this just 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 to kind of bring everything nice and tight. No, you guys right? chopped the hoop like significantly. Yeah, yeah. So, um, let's see. worn winch, Factor Fifty Five goodies. We got KC lights. So I I can kind of see there's some sort of like a uh, there's some resemblance going on. There's like a, a aesthetic between the headlights and the fog lights, right? Oh yeah, we kept it. I try to keep everything period correct. I put a film on this stuff to protect everything. Most 80 guys know that if you go with the aftermarket depot lights, they're made out of glass. Yeah. If they, and this film like protects it and also calms down the chrome yeah, yeah. inside on the headlights and just makes it a little bit cleaner. Yeah, no, for sure. It kind of gives it more like a, like a smoky, vibe, like dark, oh, yeah. darked out vibe. So, and this is cool too, this particular, these headlights, I mean, again, KC, OG company, been around OG, forever. Yeah. Square lights. That's something you don't definitely don't see nowadays. No. Like everybody's so obsessed with, Bajas and all these futuristic LEDs and this these are kind of these are modern this is something that KC offers now but this yep. is uh and they're all LED so they they perform really well oh yeah I'm sure these awesome. are bright but as far as the aesthetic I mean it's just oh, a yeah. square light matches with these depot retrofits so making our way around uh you have the original stellar built super sliders yep set <laughs> that we probably built maybe five years ago uh just the DOM tubing dimple light top uh gusseted reinforced straight to the frame so yeah. um going around the back this is i believe a trail taylor trail bumper. taylor yeah in yeah. red in california yeah trail taylor bumper dual swing out another rare piece i mean that's oh, yeah. that's also another bumper that you you don't really see uh too often no uh, and it's built insanely well yeah let's see this thing 
Lock pins, both sides. On both sides, so you got a lock pin yeah. when it latches and you got a, uh, yep. a lock pin when it on, on swings, I guess. Yep. Swings around, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So this gives you plenty of space to open up your hatch. Yeah, super, tailgate. super easy to use. Yeah, very nice. You got recovery points. Yeah. All right, so going around, uh, SCS wheels, it kind of all the paint work, all the powder coat work kind of has this tone mm -hmm. of a gunmetal all throughout. Yep. Um, I see you got some additional uh, kind of OEM, old school cool touches there. Yeah, I think the uh, I think someone who's uh, filming, uh, what do you call it, the toothpaste? This guy. Called the guy. toothpaste. You call it the toothpaste <laughs> look. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Actually, everyone who looks at the truck, that's not the first thing they see is the truck. They actually see like delivery, yeah. and they get crazy about it. And it's super simple, super clean. I think period correct. Yeah. And it just it actually just brings the truck to life, and it's been like the the identifiable thing about this truck. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The, the three lines, this is the, like the classic uh, Toyota colors. Mm -hmm. Well, classic, I suppose, for this uh, for this era, I guess. Uh, yeah. But, you know, it, it kind of looks black, but it, against these uh, three stripes, you can really see like the, the like the forest green, the dark right. green, and pop out, so. All right, well, cool, man. So going around, we got so, uh, Safari Snorkel, pretty standard. Yep. We pretty got standard. a yep. front runner rack. Some recovery up top. You got an, uh, what is it, the awning? On the, on the yeah, side? it's an Overland Pros uh, 6K awning, so it swings all the way at 270. So it's it's a. Oh, okay. So you can have like a full on base camp yeah, on this thing. It's super nice to build walls for it, and they're yeah. here and they're local in Sacramento. Okay. So. Yeah. Very nice. Shout out to Overland Pros. Uh, as far as the suspension, man, tell me about the suspension. I know this is maybe uh, this is a couple rounds that you've done on this, uh, on this <laughs> yeah. truck. So what do we got underneath this thing? So. On this thing, we have Dobbinsons. Everything's Dobbinsons. It always has been from the very get-go. Um, in the front and the rear, we have the three and a half inch uh, variable taper coils. But I was like, we definitely need. Are you after ready that for trip, next? Well, we, yeah. So we put the MRR uh, three-way adjustables in there, okay. and uh, obviously have the Delta arms in there, and all that stuff. All this stuff that's been on here has made a huge difference. And the adjustability when you're loaded or unloaded, you can change it, and it's it's been the possibly one of the best drivability mods that we have done to this thing. It's just been made a night and day difference. So you were one of the early adopters for these, uh, for the steering stabilizer. This is something that Dobbinson's uh, released not too long ago. Yep. You know, it's, uh, I mean, it's got steering dampener with the resi. Oh yeah, it's super <laughs> I don't know if anybody nice. else that makes that. <laughs> well, it's fully adjustable too, so. So you can actually also fine tune yeah, it to your liking. Yeah, fine tune it and it's, and I have, and it's it's been awesome. Nice. It's super easy to use. Yeah, very cool. Um, Gears, lockers, so you got the factory lockers, you got, uh, I know we gear this thing, what ratio did we go so with the thing? We went through uh, and did 488s on 48s, it. 48s, okay. And then actually the whole T case was pulled apart whole and case, running yeah. the three to one low range gears. Yeah, yeah. And so this thing can highway, it can crawl, it can wheel. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the a lot of guys I know we set up to 529 gears with 37s, but right. This truck having the power that it has, I mean, mm -hmm. 48s just, just does it right. To be honest, the supercharger makes like that much of a difference yeah. where you can you can still drive it with the 488s and be just fine. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, so some of the aesthetic features I see what's different about this is uh, you no longer have the factory uh, factory spoiler, right? Right, yeah. So this is a JDM style rear spoiler. I People go nuts about these things. I think it looks amazing on the 80s. Oh yeah. I mean, it even has those I, vents. The little, <laughs> these, these little vents. I'm not sure what exactly they do. Have you messed with these? Uh, it's it is supposed to be to keep the dust off your back window, okay. just like the OE is oh, supposed to so keep the blows dust. The so yeah, you're supposed to be able to deflect the dust. We got GMRS yep. antenna, Midland, pretty straightforward, and that's about it. I mean, no crazy light bars, no nope. you know baja this, baja that. Like it's not. Yep. It's not, you, you know, you're not splurging over with a bunch of electronics not. outside. It's just kind of, like, it has everything you need when it comes to lighting, right? I legit think if, if I were to add like light bars all over this thing, I, I think it might take away from how it looks. Yeah. Just in general. I just, simple for me is, is more than enough. Yeah. Just all business. So. Less well, more. Less yep, more. Yeah. Well, let's go over to the cab. Let's just see what the, what, what we got going on in the interior. First thing I'm going to say is this thing is immaculate condition. I mean, this is very clean. Like, you know, yep. 80s, a lot of them of these have high mileage. And this is a, a good example of a well-preserved 80s series. I mean, I'm sure, you know, props mm -hmm. to the owner for keeping this thing clean. 
but this is very nice. No cracks, no fading no. in the dash. I'm so grateful that the dash hasn't cracked yet. Yeah. I try to keep the interior as clean as possible and as simple as possible. I don't need everything in here. Yeah. But, but yeah. yeah, I mean, I just keep simple things in here. Uh, so so what, what do we have here? You got a couple little mods just to make a, a, a creature comforts nicer. Yeah. So I, I think every 80 series owner, we want to know what the temperature is on the on the 80. And so uh -huh. I just use a scan gauge. And other than that, I have the boost gauge for all eight pounds of boost that this thing runs on. <laughs> That's a little giveaway that it's got something gun going on. Yeah, I know, right? Over here, I have the 67 designs for the mic mount and the phone mount. We have our Switch, Pro. Switch Pros 9100 okay. that controls uh, everything in the onboard air and the lights. Okay. And then this is actually a special piece. Um, Dave Rodak in uh, New York, mm -hmm. uh, he hand does all shifters for yeah. all different makes and models. This is very cool. That, I was going to say that's that definitely kind of uh, ties it in the fact that it's a retro kind of period correct, like yeah. old school. Yeah, uh, he made it out of zebra wood and he took the livery colors that we had on the outside and he matched it to a decal that we use. <gasps> Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's did you see that? That's pretty cool. It's got the little stripe going around. Okay. Wow, very cool, Dave. And it's a. Uh, uh, sick. I like these. Yeah, I was gonna say this is different. Uh, so you, no longer factory uh, visors. So, as we all know, the factory visors they floppy, they, sa they floppy, sag floppy. like they sag like like wiz wizard sleeves. It's pretty it's bad. bad it's, it's not good. <laughs> yeah. And so, if you have an eighty and you want to spend a ridiculous amount of money on <laughs> was gonna sun say? visors, this is actually an aircraft visor. Uh, distribution company they that that's where they got their um, claim to fame is they make aircraft stuff and so it actually transferred over to the 80 and I think a lot of the guys are starting to switch over to this stuff now and, and they're like literally the best one of the most creature comfort mods you can do for this thing because you can visibly obviously visibly see through them on the trail and they block all the UV light and it's just it's yeah. just awesome I was gonna say I mean just for us having like a small mount I mean this thing is as tight as it can be. I want to say it's tighter than the factory. It even is. Even when it, it was new. It I is. Mean. And they're fully adjustable, so it's like nice to have something that swings out and doesn't like fall down every yeah. single time you touch it. So it's it was it was one of those things where I was like, yeah. well, I might as well just do it now. Yeah. So this is uh, is this like a, a 80 series particular uh, mo like a product, or oh, this is just a generic aircraft visor that that's been retrofitted for a, for a cruiser. No, actually, Rosen makes makes it specifically for the 80 series the land cruisers. cruisers. And okay. I don't know how, I think, honestly, I think someone like Joey from Wits End really pulled some strings in order to make this happen. And, yeah. and they started making them and they they stock these things. Oh so. no, this is great, man. I, I wonder if you can make it work for other applications because this I'm thing sure feels you can. great, man. It's so tight. And I, I can see the adjustability in this thing all throughout. Yeah, very cool. Okay, Dave. Great, man. We love everything that you've done in this thing. It's super clean. I mean, very well kept. Even Thanks, with the man. mileage, this thing is nice. So, um, last segment on this truck. Are you ready for the Flex Master 3000? I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. He's ready. I'm ready. Bring, Let, it out. Let's bring, bring it out. Bring it out. <laughs> I didn't know you guys were doing this. No. <laughs> no. This is a special order from Toyota. They only make one. One of one, Flex Master 3000. We got it. We got the one. Are you certified? Yeah. yeah. Certified, everything certified, all the certifications, bro. All of it. Well, let's see. Let's see what it does. The tag? Yeah, the tag, it's like still... Like it's brand new. It on the hat, you know? Yeah, it's brand new, bro. It's, it's always going to be brand new. <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? How you... Ben. Oh, you know cuz. Keeping it straight. Two thousand three, brand new. Two thousand three. <laughs> Two thousand three, brand new. Two thousand three. Toyota Tacoma. So the rules of this is, uh, we're basically go until you lift your tire in the back. It's kind of to uh, re simulate some trail conditions. Oh man. Man, I have fast trucks can only dream of this, man. I'm in the air. That is not bad at all. Not yeah. bad. Considering this thing drives to Canada and flexes like that. Yeah, I mean, perfect tuck in the back. 
still got the factory flares, man. Yeah, this is like a... I guarantee if you flex like that, the flares are gone. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it's not like you're driving like this. Nah. This is just like a little rub-a-dub here and there. That's you know. it. No big deal. Yeah, just a little, little, little kiss, you know. I pride myself by keeping the fender flares, man. Exactly, yeah. Nice, man. No, that's great. Let me take a couple snaps of this while it's... Me too. All right, let's move on to the rear. The, the rear usually boogies a lot more. Yeah, I mean, look at that thing. Is, that's why I love 80s, I mean. That's it, without baby. Without getting too intrusive, look at this thing. I mean, it's just like a, like a monster, man. It's mad flex. Wow. Have you had it stretched out like this before? Not like this, never. Well, now it you know. Prop, it looks proper though. Yeah, that's probably my favorite. When you get pick it up from the rear, just the way it, it, it sits. It looks good. It obviously drives good. I'm sure this thing wheels like a champ. It does. Uh, I'm not sure what else you can do to this thing, man. I mean, is this it? Is this, uh, have we I've, reached the top or is that, or there's more coming? You know, that's a loaded question. You know, these things are, <laughs> it is, it's, yeah. you're never done, especially with an 80 series. It's just, there's always something to do. It's, you never say it's done. I mean, I, yeah, legit, yeah. you guys will, you guys will see it again. And yeah. just when you something. thought this is it, something else comes out, something else you can bolt on yeah. or, you know, yeah. But man, no, it's a great truck, man. Like I said, it's always a pleasure seeing this thing in person. I'm sure you get all sorts of stares and thumbs up on the, on the gas stations, highways all the time. Huh? Oh yeah, it's, a, it's an official dude man. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> One last thing before we send you off. Uh, your truck has officially been rig checked. There you go, Dave, this is for you. Thanks, Hang man. on, slap on the truck. I appreciate you coming, Absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. Think maybe just like this, huh? There she goes. Bam! <laughs> you gotta do the thing. We splice in the set, you know, the, the, the yeah. flex seal. <laughs> Thank you for bringing the truck. We yeah, absolutely, absolutely love this thing, man. It's always a pleasure seeing this thing in person. It's always nice having this here at the shop. Um, so for everybody out there, where can they find you? Where can they see this truck? So truth be told, when I took my new job and then I knew I was gonna buy this truck and build this truck, I had a daily driver. Uh huh. And then once I knew I was working literally like maybe like five minutes away from my house, this actually became my ah, daily driver. Okay, wow. So this thing, this thing cruises around Sacramento, Roseville. Yep. Huh? So Sacramento, Roseville, and then you can find me Cruiser Cow on Instagram. And that's pretty much. I'm, I don't go anywhere crazy. I'm not on TikTok or anything like that. I'm just it's just only Instagram, and and that's enough for me. All right. Well, sounds good, man. Cruiser Cow on Instagram. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that was nice. Was not good, bad. Uh, it's a good episode. Was it a lot? It was I mean, a lot, but I'll have to. Yeah, yeah, chop it down snip, a little snip. bit. Yeah, snip, snap.